हेलो वेलकम बैक टू अनादर एक्साइटिंग सेशन आई एम योर होस्ट महेश कारिया यो वाचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब नाउ एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ रेस्टफुल ए पी आई विद अ फास्ट ए पी आई फ्रेमवर्क विच इज़ बेस्ड ऑन पाइथन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज पाए मोंगो वी आर यूजिंग मोंगो डी बी एज अ पैक एंड सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स डीप टाइम एंड टू इट सो प्रोसेस विल बी एज यूजल यू हैव टू हैव मोंगो डी बी अवेलेबल इन साइड योर सिस्टम यू नीड अ पाइथन थ्री पिप पैकेज मैनेजर वर्चुअल एन वी and uh, yeah this is it and a uh, editor whatever it may be means atom or vs code whatever you like to prefer so yeah this is my vs code i already have it uh, you can grab mongodb from here uh, for your system windows linux mac uh, mongodb try slash download slash community okay and uh, we are going to use pymongo library uh, to connect with the mongodb and fast api framework of course this is the super cool uh, so yeah uh, this is my vs code already uh, installed in my system i'm going to create a new folder on my desktop name it whatever it may be so we are going to name it pymongo uh, this is better i guess uh it's okay if you use command prompt or uh, if you have git bash then uh, it's you have to have git bash available if you are working on uh, python or wsl kind of thing whatever it may be so i'm using git bash so so you can prefer to choose anything so yeah uh virtual env i already have it oh uh, space v e n v enter okay and if you don't have it you can simply install pip install virtual env that's it so python hyphen capital v so i have 3.9.5 for now and i'm going to use pip install uh py mongo of course fast api and uvicon for server so uh, okay what okay okay so we have to activate first uh, so source v e n v slash scripts if you are on windows otherwise bin if you are on win uh, unix or linux or mac so slash activate that's it so yeah you will get this vnv symbol uh, so now you can uh, install the pymongo fast api and uvicon so it will take time so now we can create a new file over here so we we are going to use shortcuts and few commands so use control b to minimize your bar and okay and we are going to use few commands you can use like touch index.py okay so if you don't if you are on uh, windows you can simply create file from here as well so i have created this file i have to make sure this is visible to you guys so yeah this is good i guess so and we are going to create folders like models will contain your uh, models of your mongodb okay and we'll need routes okay we will have a config folder so where we can define all the database related uh, things config okay we'll have a schemas so schemas and uh, uh, we uh, i'll tell you some shortcuts to how to not use schemas so yeah this is all your choice i am going to tell you both the ways okay so because we need a sequelizer in uh, mongodb and i have seen a lots of uh, docs and uh, tutorials as well but i haven't found a single tutorial with a proper mongodb pymongo and uh, fast api uh, tutorial so uh, so so i i thought it would be better you know the proper way to create connection between these two things so yeah schemas uh, should be there models config routes and that's it i guess yeah so in index.js process will be similar uh, like from fast api import fast api okay okay control b i don't want this okay so uh, we are going to use from for now we'll use app equal to fast api sorry fast api this is a function okay 
so app dot we are going to use route so we'll use include router but for now it's okay so i just need these two things uh for now and for getting started with you will you can you can write uicon uh, line over here as well like uicon dot run your index colon pi app or uh, or this is better as well you con uicon your file name index colon your app okay hyphen hyphen reload so you don't need to restart your server after each change so it makes sense right so you can simply open your i don't want this i guess i just wanted to make sure everything is running on localhost colon 8000 yeah you will get this beautiful page this is a do uh, swagger page sorry i was saying docker so yeah this is a swagger page so you can uh, see you don't need to create documentation everything will be created automatically so yeah after that in config we are going to create a db db.py so uh, i used to work on js so sometimes i get confused with uh, dot py and dot uh, js files so yeah from pymongo pymongo import mongo client just two lines of code we need and we are going to create a connection here like mongo client that's it so it will automatically connect to your local host like by default it will connect to your this link mongodb slash slash local host colon uh you can say 27017 which is your default kind of uh, path so yeah so if you don't write this this is cool as well uh, otherwise if you are using like online cluster so it's all your choice how you use it so yeah for now this is it and uh, we are going to create models now user model so control b inside models you need to create user.py okay so you can define your table structure over here in router as well we'll need user.py in schemas as well we'll need user.py that's it that's it i guess so control b again control plus back tick to close this terminal as well i don't want to see anything for now so from pydantic pydantic import base model so yeah this is my base model sorry base model class user we are going to use user for general information base model this will be very beginner friendly video so uh like simple name email or we can say password okay next time we will create a full fledged api full stack api with the fast api and react as well so i'm planning for this as well so if you like this video please make sure to subscribe as well i'm doing marketing for myself sorry uh, okay this is it i guess so the pydentic pydentic uh, we create a base model means this is just model like this will be my uh model yeah so in routes uh, you can uh, simply define what you wanna create the entire logic related thing and routes file will be here actually we need a controller services as well uh, but this is very beginner friendly video so i'm going to use routes only for writing logic as well so yeah from fast api import api router okay so uh, then from uh, models dot user will need user okay user class that we just created so we can access over here as well and we need a connection as well from config db so we can from config db import uh, connection so, okay so we can access connection uh, we ha we haven't created schema z but I am going to tell you guys how to create schema for now we are going to create a user with the API router which will be again function and now we can create all the routes like user.gate gate 
your path whatever it may be okay and after that the basic stuff like uh, uh, async make sure to use async of it if possible uh, async diff whatever it may be like uh, you uh, find all users find all will be the my function name find all users will be better I guess users okay we're going to find all users in return we are going to return a connection dot local dot user I'm going to tell you why I'm using local we haven't talked about mongodb yet but yeah I'm going to tell you find this is it for now for getting started with uh, if you have mongodb available make sure to install this client as well mongo client make sure you have to have mongo client available we, you will get this from marketplace so from here uh, just search for mongodb okay and once you get a mongodb available this client available and mongodb is up and running inside your system then you can simply hit the connect option that connect on new and uh, simply create cluster on uh, from official side as well but uh, i don't prefer if you are a beginner or simply connect with the string and simply write here like mongodb colon slash slash localhost colon 27017 that's it your local port okay so yeah like this mongodb colon slash slash localhost colon 27017 slash your db name whatever it may be you don't need to create anything just just hit enter that's it finish so after installation of mongodb so make sure your mongodb is up and running inside your system so there are various ways like from docker as well you can create your mongodb so uh, if you are on mac linux i highly uh, prefer to use a docker if you don't want to install then this is the best choice you can create from here as well so yeah this is it i already have uh, mongodb in running inside my system so i can see this much of things in my system so yeah this is my uh user is already available i need to drop this connection user user so we can create another user oh yeah this is gone i guess yeah this is gone I have to make sure that it's visible to you so okay now we can start with it control kw to close all files okay okay so yeah so now the most important part is still remaining which is the schemas okay and here the main logic will come guys okay inside schema so control b uh, inside here inside schemas don't get confused between models and schemas schemas is just a serializer we need okay i already have user.py over there in schema so here you just need to define def okay user entity okay and uh, will be item okay and imagine because when you work on mongodb mongodb has their own document format okay and the document format is little bit different than actual the model okay they have that underscore id with the object id pattern so we need to convert this to to, to serialize to json to understand uh, the json format okay we need this thing schemas so in return we'll do the simple thing like uh, in id will return uh str string will convert that object id to normal string okay this is a uh, very important by the way okay and it will be underscore id and the rest of the things will be similar like name will be uh item dot name okay email will be email will be item dot item email okay and password will be similar so and password will be 
now this is a uh, redundant work but uh, i'll also tell you the shortcut as well don't worry so uh, but we have to follow some industry rules so i'm following this for now so it makes sense if you want to convert that uh, this, is, this is very important guys ski uh, entities are generally we used to uh, change the we don't want hackers to directly access this this fields okay so if, if the field is like this password for something so we can we can send like password for like we can ca use camel case or we can use different names so that's why we use schemas okay so don't get confused why we use schemas so you can modify schemas you you have all control that what you want to send to user what fields you have to send these are internal fields and these are outer appearance that you will design over here so the next thing is this is user entity this is for single document but when we use find all methods we get an array of objects so at that time you will get a complete array so that will be users entity okay so you need to convert that user entity so in that time at that time uh, which will be type of list by the way okay so this is simple dictionary and list of it will be a list of dictionaries so in return in return we will uh, simply return a for loop will be user entity okay of item okay and for item in entity so yeah this is it finish this is two lines of uh, code which is very important so that's it finish now we can now we can import that uh, thing to our route file here okay so from schemas dot user import user entity and users entity so that's it now we can access so this will be a users entity we'll get lots of things over here so users users entity and this thing so yeah so don't get confused when uh, I, i'll e explain you why we need these two things so we'll use print command to print okay why i am getting this thing and why i am converting this thing to this thing so so, so we will uh, you will get to know what is the difference between these two things okay so yeah this is it i guess for the first file so in index.py now we can import uh, the uh, router in here so from routes dot user uh, import okay user and in here we'll simply use app dot include router and name of your router okay there are lots of shortcuts also so yeah this is already running no need to do anything uh, refresh this page you will get this get click on try it out execute you will get this empty array for now we don't have anything so i'm not getting anything so we need to insert something to show you guys what exactly happening behind the scene oh yeah for now i don't have to print anything so in user we will create uh the rest of the things like get post delete update kind of thing so this is get now we'll create a post method okay we don't need this thing for now and this will be my post and this will be create user create user okay and in create user we will need insert one command okay in here we'll use con dot local local dot user dot insert one you will get this suggestion as well insert one 
and in insert one we will pass a user okay so user you will pass from here which will be type of user that you have defined inside model so it will accept only that parameters name email you can use control p to see inside models user.py this file i'm talking about and control plus w i guess to close this up so yeah so it's, it will accept this parameter but uh we need to pass in dict test make sure so that's it i guess now we can go here as well if we refresh the page you will get this post method over here try it out in name in name we will pass mahesh mahesh i have email id as well its mahesh k a r i y a at gmail.com password will be mahesh at one two three of course this is not my password uh so yeah this is it these three fields i have to post this thing so you will get this in return okay now we can use this get all users so once i hit here i'll get the response and in my terminal you will see this thing so this is print of this file when we print this thing it will be in the format of this mongo object and when we do this user entity will convert this to this file see the id will be like this this is very important so yeah this is the difference why we are using the schemas okay so now you can know what is the difference between these two things so okay now the third thing is rest of the things will be very easy for you guys uh, we need a put file as well put put will be id will need id and update user will be you can use any method name by the way and in here we will pass id and uh, uh, most likely id will be type of string so we don't need to define string and in insert one uh, we can we can do something else uh, here like there are lots of ways to do this but i'm looking for find one and update will be better i guess one and find okay find one and update i'm not getting suggestion okay find 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 one and update okay So in here uh, make sure you use this thing underscore id not normal id because mongodb understand the underscore id and you need to import object id because mongodb will understand the object id only so okay so you can pass id here and and in comma comma separated you need to pass a variable that is dollar set and your variable that is user this is it i guess this is all we needed but you don't have this object id which is very important to mongodb to understand what you are using so from uh, bson import object id this is it this is it this is it so yeah this is it i guess uh in return as well you don't need to return everything okay in that case we will use this will return a single single object so input yeah it's it's all up to you actually uh why we are not using user entity over here because if you return this it will return the previous state okay before updating what it looks like it will send the previous state so we need to find one okay we need to find this thing here by by the id okay so id we already have it so what we are going to do here is user entity single entity okay then con dot local 
local dot user dot find one and in find one we will pass the simple thing that id with id we can find that element which is updated now so this will be the perfect way first update the thing and after that get this thing so yeah this is it and the last one is uh, delete okay uh, delete will be similar delete will be also similar uh, so you just need to use find one and delete so you don't need this set thing here okay and if we we can say you can get the previous state here as well so okay it's okay if we get previous state over here so it will return that this complete object i have deleted so it's okay to return complete object okay so yeah this is it we are not why we are not getting uh we are getting this red red thing because we haven't completed this yet so now the last thing is remaining i guess which is get by id okay so here if if you want to get a single user we already have uh, this one i guess find one method we'll use in here okay and here we'll return uh get user find one user this will be of course get method so yeah this is all we need guys everything is just completed i know this will be a very short video but i am telling you find one user why we need this thing we don't need this thing we are not posting anything over here so uh, open your terminal see if you are getting some error yeah i am getting error on line number uh, the here okay what is okay. i guess this one this is it okay line number six bsn i don't have bsn object id is object o is capital i guess no, i'm sure actually object o is actually capital so we need to use change all occurrences find all change you can use direct rename symbol as well change all, all occurrences will be better so yeah control s and c application is started if you if you refresh the page you will get all the four or five things that are required post we have tested find all we have tested now in inside find all we'll get a single id now uh, after that we'll search with that single id as well here okay in here get by id so try it out if you enter the id of specific user you will get a single object okay okay that's it and a similar with the put method if you enter id and if you get the data from here we are going to update this data okay in here in here we'll update the data without id don't use because uh, model will won't allow you to add something so we'll simply add if my name add the red symbol before this whether make sure to use cryptography or something to encrypt your password and this is very simple it's all up to you you can do this guys uh, so i want to make this thing very short so yeah this is double add the red symbol as well here so yeah it's okay everything is working fine it's updated and if i go here and if i try it out update something and if i hit execute you will get this thing written it means it's deleted so next time if i hit this find all method we'll get i guess empty array so yeah all the gate post all the crude operation i guess restful api we have created so now i'm going to tell you a very beautiful thing the last thing that you will like most i guess because i have spent my little bit time to understand why we need schemas if we can uh, create some kind of shortcut over here inside my schema so we have we can create something like that see guys 
if you use this this is okay so for for every model you have to create a separate schema which is not cool i guess if we are working on a python so you can do this thing so you can define dev uh serialize serialize uh then we can define disk dict okay and in test we'll simply pass variable any variable will be type of dict dist and colon and in return will perform this operation will contain double star comma double star comma okay and uh, uh this is this is this is not it i guess yeah this is it and in here we'll define i colon str uh a of i a of i and in here as well uh, we need to define for loop i guess for loop will be better in here we'll define for i in a if if i double equals to underscore id <coughs> excuse me and uh, the same thing goes here okay this time <coughs> this will not equal to id okay and in here we will return simply a i know if you are getting confused don't worry i'm going to explain you guys this is a key point and in here i will define def this is for single dictionary okay so every time you don't need to define this much of logic for every model you just need to call this serialized dist every time it will it will automatically convert every model to this and serialize list will contain entity okay which will be type of list and in return will simply return a for loop serialize this will contain a for a in entity this is it i guess this is it list sorry used to okay so now instead of this two things we can use this two things let's try this so instead of user entity okay let me grab this real quick we can use f2 button f2 to change all occurrences at one time and let me grab this list and instead of user entity hit f2 control v enter control s let's see if we get error or something you we have to get a similar results in post method try it out again use mahesh at to 3 mahesh at 1 to 3 dot com okay execute yeah so this is working so see guys th this is the power of python i know you you won't get this thing anywhere else i'm telling you this is i have spent my time to get uh, these two things are very important to you guys if you are really working on mongodb with the python if you are working on any project so thank you very much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here if you want something from my side please let me know inside comment box and please uh, like share this video i really need subscribers i don't have that much and uh, this is my only income source uh, so thank you very much please hit the subscribe button if you don't already have it already haven't so thank you guys thank you thank you very much bye bye